it's Presley at actoutgames.com here and today is comic book Thursday and we are going over to the comic book store to pick up our comics. I'll see you there. I'm at the comic book store and I got the new Lumberjans, which I'm super duper excited about. So I'm definitely gonna read this like in the car or something. So this place is super cool and I wasn't aware that the new Lumberjanes was coming out today, but it is. It's this Alice in Wonderland. And the Alice in Wonderland is using the same font as the Search for Wanda, which is a really, really good book. So we got a lot of comic books, but what we're going to be talking about today is the new Lumberjanes and the first edition of the new Justice League of America. So we're going to talk about Lumberjanes first. So I would compare Lumberjanes to Percy Jackson. They're in, they're in a camp and so they're in their, a camp and there's sort of an oracle figure who is not an oracle, but a woman that can turn into a bear. And they and they go on crazy adventures fighting monsters and stuff. So it's a lot like Percy Jackson, but it has but it has new these new characters and the Lumberjanes thing, and the plot is interesting. So the basic idea is this, is sort of the same, but the plots are completely different. So the, so that's one one of the reasons why I really like Lumberjanes because I like Percy Jackson as well. So the art style is always really nice. Um, and I still haven't I still haven't figured out whether Ripley or April is the youngest. April is probably the youngest, but I think it says she's the smallest of the group. So I haven't so um I like how I think she's the young April is the youngest because she has eyes, while the rest kind of have this cartoony style eyes, but she has full drawn eyes, which are probably like I mentioned in the last uh, edition, which are probably to make bigger eyes means younger person. So she's probably the youngest. And the weird thing with the Lumberjane, with uh, some of the Lumberjanes comics that I've been looking at, is the cover, like the cover of edition, um, the cover of edition 11 relates to a part of the story in issue 10. And this sort of relates to edition 14, as in, um, there are ki apparently there are kittens in the boys camp so there's this whole boys camp and the and they mention that there's a lot of kittens and there's kittens and cookies at the boys camp so that so that might be why there's kittens on the cover of this one so in this one they um in the last one Jin was kidnapped by wolf deer thingies and was saved by Abigail and in this one Rosie goes. To, Rosie, who is the leader of the camps, goes to save Jen from Abigail. So she she used to be friends with Abigail, except she gets mad at Abigail because she, Abigail is a hunter, and she and the Lumberjanes are about protecting everything in the forest. So she gets mad. At, so she gets mad at Abigail, and then Abigail gets mad at them. And currently, uh, in the storyline, they are in, Rosie and Jen are in a trapdoor. So in this one, the main girls are also trying to find Jen. So they're trying to find Jen, and they are running around in the snowstorm that happened in the middle of the summer. So, and 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 in the last one where the snowstorm started, there were a lot of references to Frozen, a lot of references to Frozen. So they're, they're so they're trying to find their way to Jen through the snowstorm. So even though Rosie already found her. So as they try, so they're both basically trying to rescue Jen from Abigail. A cool thing about Lumberjanes is on the backs of each of them, I'm gonna put these in order. On the backs of, on the backs of all of the Lumberjanes comic books, they have patches. And the patches stay the same, uh, except they add a new patch every month. Uh, so every comic book there is a new patch. And they relate to the storyline. So in this 10 one, in this one, um, Ripley earned a cake badge while the rest attempt to earn a cake badge. So the cake bit so Ripley's cake badge is on the back here. And this um and this one in this one um 
they they get lost. So that so it's like a pathfinding lost badge. And in this one, there's a library, so that's why there's a book question mark badge. So they relate to the story. And so and if you've read all of the books, which I haven't, but if you've read some of the books, I think it's kind of funny that the cake decorating one is on here because everyone gets really mad and because only Ripley got the badge. So these are super cool. So now we're going to talk about JLA. And this starts off with a bang, literally. It starts off with the Earth exploding and Superman dying. And then it goes back in time to where there are these scientists that are that have figured out that Superman is going to die and they're trying to figure out why. So they so they're getting these supermen from the future that are all and they're all dead by the time they come in, except for one who who almost who was dying and just said don't trust him and then died. So it's so it's kinda cool and it's kinda Doctor Who y because it appears that Superman dying is a fixed point and they can't change it unless you river song you can't change fixed points so they so they there's a fixed point where Superman dies and then there's an Aquaman subplot that doesn't really go too much it, that doesn't really go anywhere and then there is the rest of the Justice League the Justice League um, and Superman have a fight against Parasite and he's a, he's in a power plant and he's absorbing lots of energy from the power plant and also from Green Lantern and the Flash and all of the Justice League members so he is absorbing their powers and it's really so and there's this really cool fight and the artwork and colors are absolutely beautiful in the in this edition so I'm really excited to see what the rest of them look like so it's also kind of glossy so it's really really cool and I really like this comic book and the art style of it so it so there's this there's fight against parasite and then there's a, a a surprise ending with a new character coming in. So these are super cool and I can't wait to follow the rest of the series. So these are both really great comic books and I highly recommend checking them out and if you got anything this week that you really liked and you want to share with me then put it in the comments below. Last time I got a recommendation it was Gotham Academy and I absolutely love that series. So yeah, thank you for watching and I smile.